Christina, if you wouldn't mind. Now imagine a kid with autism. He gets up, and his favorite cereal box is empty. The school bus is late. His usual seat is taken. Ice has covered the crack in the sidewalk he always steps on. Is it getting heavy yet? It's really cold, so kids can go right in the school instead of lining up and waiting for the bell. In the hallway, kids are everywhere, and it's really noisy. He walks into his class, and the teacher has rearranged the desks. He's sitting behind someone different now. The girl in front of him has a strong smelling brand of soap. The morning schedule has changed, and science is now first instead of third. His pencil falls off his desk, and he has a meltdown for no reason at all. <laughs>